tutorial on quantizing in Pro Tools. Uh, you may be thinking, wow, another quantizing video. I already know what quantizing is. Well, I got news for you. You don't, okay? If your opinion of quantizing is based off of other people's YouTube videos, uh, you need a reality check, okay? Because they don't know anything about quantizing. Uh, I wrote the book on quantizing, okay? Uh, so we're going to get right into it here, okay? Don't have time for this. So Pro Tools, uh, the best uh, MIDI software out there, okay? Uh, always has been. I don't, I don't need this right now. What the hell? Okay. You know, the whole point is you just want it to open, you know, without all this crap. Okay. Going to start a new session. Um, you might see Windows opening, closing, things happening. That's just because um, key commands, you know. I, I pretty much know all of them. Of course, there's some key commands that, you know, there just aren't any. And, you know, obviously you'll see me use the pointer here to do that. Uh, but this is a quantizing video, not a key command video. So I'm going to get on with it here. Now, most of this stuff doesn't matter at all for usually anything. I, You know, I, I usually only do MIDI. So I, I don't know anything about sample rate or I, I don't know what an audio file is. I'm just going to leave this the way it is probably has no importance whatsoever. Okay, so quantizing. Demo. All right. All right, Pro Tools. Uh, this is called the Arrange Window. Okay. Uh, so in order to start uh, doing anything with MIDI, first thing I need to do is probably, you know, make some MIDI tracks. Uh, I'm going to be using software instruments here, so I'm going to make an instrument track. Uh, so uh, I'm going to, pro probably the fastest way to make tracks is to scroll up to the track window, hit new. I'm going to make a couple stereo MIDI tracks. All right. An instrument track to put my instrument on. Uh, ticks, some of you may have wondered what this was, or samples. Uh, ticks is, um, if you look at the man, I don't know if any of you actually ever read the manual for these things, but, uh, uh, ticks is Avid's word for, like, software bugs. Um, basically, what ticks is similar to delay conversation. This just kind of, uh, forces it to run in, like, a, a mode where it hopefully doesn't, get any bugs in it okay because midi midi as some of you know is kind of glitchy sometimes so anyway uh samples on the other hand is where you can have a, a sample of the sound that you're trying to get um before you actually do anything so we're going to hit create uh deselect all these uh need to load my instrument which is going to be sample tank Okay, so I'm thinking that for my quantizing demo, I'm going to do like a, a hip-hop kind of thing. So um, I'm just going to go to what I think would be the best match. Nothing in there. I'm going to start with drums. Uh, starting to get pissed off. Okay, here we go. That sounds nice. Awesome. Okay. And I'm going to... I've done this a million times. This is why I'm so fast at this. All right. So i uh, going to go ahead and make a click track. Uh, zooming out, uh, all you have to do is scroll down to the bottom right, and yeah, cool. I'm going to do just like a four-bar phrase here, um, and I'll do a count-in. 
Uh, so in order to get a count in, you just uh, start recording and and wait for the appropriate number of bars before you actually start. Uh, so we're gonna do that. And uh, hit, uh, oh yeah, I almost forgot tempo. Uh, you you may know you know like uh, standard tempos for things. Hip hop music uh, is generally at 120 or higher. Uh, I'm going to do 120 just because I don't know how to change the tempo. Okay. Um, but anyway, going to go ahead and start recording. Um, key command for that is, I mean, it's, there is none. So I, I'm going to do the best I can here, you know. So here we go. Okay, uh, nice four bar phrase there. Whoa, what just happened? Okay, um, so how do we actually go about quantizing this? Uh, well, the fastest way is to uh, go into the MIDI editor. Uh, quickest way to get to that is to do that. Zooming in, of course. Scrolling. Okay. And you can see here clearly that this is not aligned. Like it definitely, it, sh it should definitely be really uh, locked to the grid for the style of music, especially recently, man. Uh, so we see that kind of the resolution here is just kind of like an eighth note so I'm gonna switch the grid to eighth note because I don't see anything smaller than that I was I mean I was okay you know like it wasn't that bad um, but it still needs some work so what we do is we just click and drag yeah those two are good all these on the other hand they look pretty off so a little free advice here, you can click and drag, select multiple notes at once. Uh, hold on a second. These were good. Uh, oh wait, no, I was going to. Wait, yeah, yeah. <sighs> hold on. There we go. Okay. Get rid of that little extra one there. Uh, and then really the same thing. Now, this looks like I might be able to just grab all of them and, and do it like this, you know. So, uh, shit. And I wish there was some way to just make them all the same length, but it um, doesn't really matter that much, I guess. So, and the hi hats, this is going to be fun. So, uh, yeah, get all those lined up here. Uh, hold on, guys. I mean, this is fast, but not that fast, you know? Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Wasn't totally perfect, though, so, um, gotta zoom in even more. This is really, really, really close to being perfect, but, uh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, close enough. And nobody will be able to tell the difference. There we go. 
All right, all right, all right, all right. Excellent. It's zoomed in too far. Oh my God. This coffee tastes like uh, burnt popcorn. Wow. So there's quantizing for you with MIDI. Uh, pretty much every digital audio workstation is going to work the same way as this. I uh, just uh, basically, I mean, the quickest way is to really, I mean, you got to practice it a lot. Like you got to have, I, I got a lot of practice at this, so that's why it didn't take very long. Uh, so it really shouldn't take very long just for a, a four, uh, oh, this is actually three uh, bars, um, musical phrase like this. Because uh, when the client's watching you, you know, uh, and time is money, I mean, I need I go on. Uh, so hopefully this has been informative for you. I uh, hope you've learned something from this, uh, unlike all those other videos. Um, really, I just kind of wish these people would get serious and uh, learn what they're doing before they, they do it. You know. So anyway, uh, I had a great time. Hopefully I'll uh, be back next week. Please comment. Any uh, helpful criticism would be welcome. And uh, take it easy, guys. Thank you.